Hi, I'm Brian B. Barrett, and I'm here at Bar YU with Professor Barry Clower. And today, um, it's a wire gap. It's a wire gap. Not a wire tap, a wire gap. Okay, Barry, wire gap. I don't yeah. know what that is. I know what a water gap is. I recall a while back we did a water gap. Yeah. This is a wire gap. Yeah. And these, Pretty... uh, this looks like I recall doing this as a kid. Yeah, all right. Well, maybe yeah. you can have a, have a uh, desire to do it again here in a few seconds. Because <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. what we've done, we're basically setting up the same scenario that we did in the water gap. Uh, but we need a gate here. We need a gate in this fence, okay? A lot of people that will come across here, it'd be a blind gate to them. A blind gate. Yes, it, it won't even look like a gate when we get through. Okay, okay. All right? But it will be something that we could come down here on our horse. Uh, if some people use four wheelers, some people use little golf carts or whatever, but however they choose to come down here and open this up so they could put cattle back home where they belong right. or bring their cattle back. This is kind of an open area where an animal would look and say, okay, yeah, I want to go through there. So this fence was basically on the ground anyway, uh, and I needed to come put a post in here, gotcha. but I also need a gate in here. And so this is the really the cheapest, inexpensive, most inexpensive way to put a gate in. Same principle as the water gap. Same principle. Same principle. Okay. But now what are you doing here? We're though? wanting that to break away sure. down there at the water gap. This we don't necessarily want it to break away. We want to be able to undo it okay. and, and be able to tighten okay. our wire up. Right. Uh, to put in a two corner post uh, sunk in the ground with pipe and welding, you're looking at maybe eight, uh, 12 hours of work, maybe longer than that. Uh, so that's two, three thousand dollars if you hire a welder to come in and do right. it, and then have to put up a gate that's that's going to cost even more money, uh, and, and then that's very expensive, not to use it, but maybe once a year. This is just kind of a gotcha. freak deal. If something happens, you need to get the animal back home, and so that's why we're repairing this fence basically with a gate, and so that's what we're going to put in here, and uh, and that's pretty much the cheapest and easiest way we can get it done. Yep. I'm going to put us a post in here that we can actually tie to. Sure. Uh, and, and due to this is an old fence, our posts are old and kind of broken. Okay. And so I'm going to lean this down. A lot of people try to hold their T-post up in the air, okay, and then put the pipe on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to try to do. Using physics. Using the head. For your own you advantage. And I, I, look, I have got this. You got this. I have oh. shop class in high school. Right, right. surely. Go ahead. Drive it on. No, that's wrong with what? And it just what it's, on it's basically earth are like you a doing? drill, Barry. No, it's not like a drill. It's it's You a hear the jingle ling 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 ling? That means it's working. It's like a microwave. Did you stare at a microwave? I bet you did. Yeah, I guess I did. Maybe too that. long. Look at that. With ease. It even does the work for you. Yeah. <laughs> well it's righty tighty. Well it's there's true. just one problem, Brian. Yeah. One problem. It's not going anywhere. So apparently you broke it. <laughs> Shop class. <laughs> Shop class. All right. About right here is where we need our fence to pull to. Okay. And uh, and the neat thing about it is the post is going to go down whether you hold it or not. Yeah. But I've done this before. I've put my hand there. Mm hmm and come down and actually hit my hand. Have you really? Yes. But what is so cool <laughs> about this, if you take this big stout arm and put this hand right here, well, that helps you, you could lift up. Uh, yeah. That's a whole lot more work for me. Yeah. I don't know if you're lifting it up. We got it going on. How about that? So how high do we want this? How high? About that high? That's about that high. Yeah. That's right where we want it. Okay. We've got that pretty snug. So what I'm going to want to do, this has basically just been holding our, fin our, our gate up together yeah. for us. And that kind of lets us know where we need it. Uh, got a piece of wire here somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and loop this around the two pieces okay. of wood, our, our staves. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this to where I know what size I was just sizing that up. I'm going to go ahead and make this 
my tie side or my permanent side. In other words, this wire is going to stay over here. This is going to be my untying mm -hmm. side. So if I come up here and I want to make that a gate, uh, this to become a gate, it will be able. I will be able to yeah, untie it. Okay. I'm just going to twist this hand tight because if I come down here and I don't have a pair of pliers, a lot of people are going to twist this down and then clip it off. Oh, boy, that looks good. Well, yeah, it looks good, but now you have got to have a pair of pliers right. to get it undone. So that's the reason I'm going to leave this. That's the reason you don't use a real heavy gauge wire too, right? Exactly. And so it is going to be uh, stout enough, sturdy enough, right like that. Okay. Now, before I take this loose, because there again, if I was here by myself, this is the only thing holding my fence up. And now this is the only thing holding up uh, my, my temporary gate or new gate. And so I am going to get my tie wire with like, like a glove. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Mm-hmm. Just like so. Gonna come back in here like this. Okay. All right. Now, that will be tightened up. But right now, that's gonna kind of help hold as I let the tension off of right. this right here. Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna work this out of here. And now, I don't want much. Just a little tension right there. Okay. I don't want to take my post completely out of the out of the scenario of holding for me. And uh, I usually bend the ends, and I did. There we go. Okay. All right. Getting a little more stave wire here. It's just pretty simple. It's it's something that. Uh, that makes sense to us out here it's it's making it look like the rest of the fence right. uh, but also we can see that and know that we have have a gate here now if if need be we're we had to come fix this spot in the fence anyway so why not make us a make it to where we can use it okay Don't about didn't. All right, now I can take and grab a hold of that and pull and twist, okay? But I'm gonna leave those ends to where I can untwist them. So you can unravel it later on yep. if you need to. Uh, yes, huh. exactly. And then I think one more, and we've got this little attempt. Little so you uh, never really adhere you don't loop around this middle post necessarily. Yes, I probably will when I get that tension off. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tie a little bit. Make tie, it a little extra. This, make it like it was going to be permanent. Okay. Is what I'm wanting to do. Yeah. But if I get down here in a situation to where I need to open it up, bare minimum uh, work, that I can put this thing. You know, I can take it apart and put it sure. back together. Sure. And so, uh, so that's that's going to help us. Uh, all right. Now we should be able to get through here in our section. last. Last piece of wire. All right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Got that to where it's going to be there permanent. So. And you can, if you want to, just tie this side to this post and this side to this post. You right. know, it depends on what what your situation is. But in this way we're doing this here today, we want to kind of get it to where where it makes a makes us a little bit of a a, a good gate. And uh, I'm gonna pull this just a tad. All right, that length is probably enough. We're gonna leave it like so, okay. This part here can be tightened up. Yeah. And 
We got her. All right. Now, if you will remember, we had this thing laying on the ground and uh, now it's standing up straight. Nice. Looking pretty good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take, you know, just some simple, simple wire right here like this. And you join. I'm gonna join the two wires. Right. All right. Simple little twist like that right there. No more than two, you think? Yeah. Two or three. You know what? Probably not counting. <laughs> but yeah, I just I get twist it them. At least two. All uh, right. Yeah, at least two to will it actually twist together. And so that's that's pretty much as, as about as, as quick and simple as you could put in a gate in the fence. Uh, you know, without having an auger here to dig holes and set pipe like sure. we talked about. Uh, and, and the inexpensive. That's probably about as inexpensive as we can put a gate up uh, right there. And two things it did, it tightened up our remaining fence yeah. without really cranking on the wire because this older fence, older post, uh, you know, I, I've been tightening wire before. You may have had it happen. And uh, and the post actually break off at the bottom yeah. of the ground because they're rotten. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, but that's it. That nice. gives, us a, gives us a gate uh, that we can get through and uh, and then hopefully the cows can't. To recap, there was not a post here, but you wanted to put in a wire uh, wire gap. Yes, yes. So it's a, a semi-permanent gate that's there all the time, but yeah. once a year, twice a year, maybe more, yeah. you need to take it apart and then put it back together. Exactly. So you get some, cut, the, cut all the wires yep. that are existing, uh, make sure you have a post to yep. hook that, that side to, a post to hook this side to. Basically our gate post. Your gate That's post, what it exactly. Would be considered. Yes. Uh, and then a sturdy one in the middle. And you'd recommend yes. one of these. Well, in this situation, yes, because we didn't have the ability to do There dig was a nothing hole. there. So pow, pow, pow. Yes. The only thing in. the only thing other that we could do that we didn't do in this this scenario, if we would not have needed a post here, okay, if it had been a shorter stretch, we would have done it like the water gap. We would exactly. just go ahead and put these and just close together, touching wire and wired at the top. That's but since we needed a post here anyway, Do now it. we have tied to this post, but yet we still have a gate, and right. so that's that's what that's what it come down to. So you tie it together with uh, loops of wire from this yep. post to that post. We did four sections yep. to match the number of uh, barbed wire pieces coming across. Correct, uh, making it look like a natural barrier for the livestock. Yep. Um, a real fence looks like a fence, and then after that, yep. tie just these top two. You're going to do some more. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably, probably tie the, the, the bottom. The two. bottom, yeah, and then so that, that way we've got um, it sturdy. And it would not take a matter of seconds to undo. Uh, basically, what I would do is probably leave these here, okay, and untie this right here, and this would become your gate. Right. Okay. Ha! Ah. So simple as that. We have a Bang. wire gap. We cut a wire gap. And the gap it is. <laughs> <laughs>